can a democratic election serve as the turning point for a nation, a continent even? Let's delve into the recent presidential elections in Senegal, a country known as the beacon of democracy in West Africa. In a historical event, the former president of Senegal, Macky Sall, acknowledged his defeat to the opposition candidate, Basiro Diomaye Faye. This marked the first time in the nation's history where an opposition party candidate secured the presidency in the initial voting round. The smooth conduct and the absence of significant disruptions during the election process further underscored Senegal's democratic resilience. Democracy in Senegal is not just a political process, it is a part of its societal fabric. This democratic ethos was mirrored in the active participation of various societal groups in the election. The election featured 19 presidential candidates, reflecting the country's vibrant political diversity. The victory of Faye, who stepped in for the initial opposition candidate, Usman Sonko, sends a powerful message. No individual is indispensable in politics. His victory is a lesson for opposition parties across Africa, demonstrating that engagement in the electoral process can be more effective than boycotting it. This election also serves as a stark contrast to the regional military leaders who have seized power through force. Faye's adherence to the democratic process is a powerful rebuke to those who have chosen the path of force over democratic principles. In Senegal, political change is achieved through the ballot box, not the barrel of a gun. The Senegalese armed forces remained disciplined and did not stray from their constitutional role, despite whispers of potential military interventio. The conduct of the outgoing president, Macky Sall, also deserves recognition. His decision to step down at the end of his term, foregoing a third term and adhering to the Constitutional Council's decision during the election crisis, is a testament to his commitment to democracy. The election of Fay, a relatively unknown figure until two months prior, indicates a strong public desire for political change. President Saleh's legacy, both internationally and domestically, will be evaluated over time. Under his leadership, Senegal assumed leadership of the African Union and advocated for important issues such as food security, economic financing, and representation in the G20. As Senegal acquaints itself with President Faye, the question now is, what does the future hold for Senegal under his leadership? Speculation is rife, however, one thing is clear, the nation's democratic ethos will continue to guide its course. As we look to the future, we can only hope that Senegal will continue to inspire other African nations with its commitment to democracy and political stability.